When Donald Trump opened his billion-dollar Scottish resort in 2012, he had big ambitions. We wanted to build what we determined could be easily the greatest golf course anywhere in the world. But soon he was tilting at windmills, embroiled in a legal fight with the Scottish government over a wind farm just offshore ruining the view, a fight he lost less than a year ago. Yet shortly after his election, he met with British politician Nigel Farage, who helped lead the Brexit movement. And did they discuss wind farms again? Just today, Trump told the New York Times, I might have brought it up. The story embodies everything political watchdogs are worried about. Whether a position is abused or there's just the potential for that abuse, there's just the opportunity to abuse it. Either way, it's undermining of confidence in government. The billionaire politician told The Times, in theory, I could run my business perfectly and then run the country perfectly. Adding, however, he's phasing that out now, letting his children take over. But a firewall has clearly not gone up yet. So the president of Argentina says when he called to offer congratulations, Trump's daughter Ivanka was on the line too. The transition team says no business was discussed, but the Trump organization is working on a $100 million project in Buenos Aires. When the Japanese prime minister came calling, there was Ivanka again, with the Trump Organization doing business with at least 150 companies in 25 countries, the potential for professional ties colliding with politics is huge. Will the new president recognize the new envoy from the Philippines picked just before the election? Sure, it's his former business partner. Lawsuits are also a worry, such as the one over Trump University, which he just settled for $25 million. So are reports of questionable behavior and bookkeeping at the Trump Foundation. And even that fancy new D.C. hotel he so proudly opened recently. Some legal analysts think that too could run afoul of federal laws because it is on property leased from the very government he will now lead.